Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Jobs Adda. Hope you guys are doing well. So today in this video, I am going to tell you about the assimilation test held in Cognizant. So as we join Cognizant first, there is induction program of two days as I told you in my last video. If you haven't watched that video, so go and watch that video. It was very useful for you if you are going to have your day one and day two at Cognizant. So after day one and day two, there were three to four days like we got for uh, behavioral session, uh, professional etiquette session, meditation program uh, like this uh, held. So after that, you will got a mail uh, regarding assimilation program which was going to held after six to seven days of joining. For assimilation test, we, uh, you need to decide in which language you need to give the test. There are choices of two language only, Java and C-sharp. So we got the mail regarding that to choose the language. Here is the mail we got. It's like a survey mail where you need to decide in which coding language you are going to attend the test. So you can choose either of Java or C-sharp. And uh, SQL in addition with that, which is mandatory, uh, like uh, SQL, uh, basic of SQL, you need to know that. And uh, here the assimilation test was going to held on HackerRank uh, platform. If you are familiar with that, it is good to go. So why do you need this assimilation program? Assimilation program helps to identify your programming abilities thereby helping you to begin the right learning pathway. The program has prep up phase and an assessment phase. So basically assimilation program takes two days like first day we need to do the prep up assessment uh, which is like a demo test you can say. You need to do the demo test uh, with your personal email ID and the next day you need to attend the uh, assessment phase with your cognizant mail ID. So remember this thing. So if any non CSE IT student watching this, so may I tell you assimilation test is not for you guys. It is only for CSE IT candidates. Uh, basically assimilation test held for uh, to check your basic coding and uh, database uh, like how you know about it uh, basic coding language and uh, some SQL queries were there. Assimil if you are able to clear the assimilation test then you are put into full stack development and if you are not able to clear then no need to worry you will be assigned in any of the domain uh, like you will put randomly. So if you can clear assimilation test then it is very good and you will definitely get uh, full stack development where you need to uh, do uh, full stack development like uh, in Java and uh, there you will going to learn a lot of things like uh, for full stack development the future is very very uh, growthful as uh, company purpose. So that I will show you the program at a glance. Assimilation program has two phases. Day one is a prep up and day two is assessment. There are two assessment programming on SQL which is mandatory for all and programming fundamentals on Java or either C sharp. Uh, the each assessment is of 2.5 hours like uh, in morning they have scheduled the SQL and in evening they have scheduled the a coding test so each assessment has also two section uh, multiple choice question 15 question of 30 minutes and code challenge four challenges two hours so if you need to clear this exam and if you want to go in full stack development then may I tell you uh, you need to clear multiple choice question uh, of at least 10 and uh, code challenges you need to clear two out of four and uh, if you can able to do this 10 uh, questions clear 10 multiple choice question correctly and two coding challenges correctly then you can easily crack this exam so 
hope you guys have enjoyed this video and start preparing for assimilation test brush up your basic coding